So Hayden Edwards joined up with a bunch of Cherokee natives who had been moved into the area. And he said, we're going to form our own country. We're going to call ourselves Fredonia. And you can see over here in the red, uh, the Fredonian colony, the Edwards colonies. And they're going to take that part of that and make it their own uh, land. And you notice that Austin, Stephen F. Austin is right nearby. So independence, liberty, and justice is what they put on their flag. You'll notice, uh, you might have seen this before on a flag white field on the top and a red field on the bottom and if you're not quite sure uh, you should definitely take a look at a texas flag the texas flag actually has the fredonian rebellion flag built into it so it definitely tells us that this is an important event well he forms his own country or he claims he does well stephen f austin hears of this and he's invited to join the Fredonians, and he has to make a decision. Will I join the Anglo settlers, people who have a very similar culture to me, or will I continue to support Mexico? I, mean, I did promise to help people become Mexican citizens, and he knows that Mexico is afraid of filibusters. He hears of what Hayden Amber's done, and he is angry. He says, no, we are not filibusters. We are going to lose everything. The Mexican government will cancel everyone's land grants. I will lose everything. And so he actually sends people to take down Hayden Edwards. The Mexican Dragoons, they show up at the old stone fort in Agadoches, where Hayden Edwards and some of the native uh, people underneath Chief Richard Fields uh, are trying to have this rebellion. And Hayden Edwards hears about this, and he makes a decision. He's going to leave. He runs away with his brother. And there are no, no one left except for the Native Americans. Richard Fields, the Cherokee, uh, he was hung and put to death. But Hayden Edwards basically gets off the hook for free. And Mexico has basically put down the Fredonian Fredoni Rebellion. And Stephen F. Austin supported them in putting it down so here's some outcomes that are pretty important this is the first major attempt to split texas away by anglo settlers yes we had filibusters remember the filibusters hadn't been living in texas up to this point this is the first time people living in texas tried to break it away uh this makes mexico much more suspicious of, of the anglos they start saying well man Every time something goes wrong, are these Anglos going to cause trouble? Are they going to try to break away? And the Mexico is going to start thinking, we need to put more controls. We need to have more rule over the people in Texas.